someone with the CFP, Certified Financial Planner Professional Credential, has been through an extensive amount of coursework in all areas of financial planning and has also passed a significantly difficult exam um, and has had to have professional experience before they can even use the designation. So it's a rigorous designation to achieve. What's great about the, the CFP curriculum is that you, you get a basic understanding of, of really every aspect of financial planning. Every, every component or potential component of financial planning is covered at least in some degree through the, through the CFP coursework. Um, I think the fact that in an industry where there's very high turnover, there's very low success rates in terms of staying power of employees that work in financial advising and financial planning, I think that having an experience requirement for the de designation is great um, because if with a, the two-year requirement if you have a mentor, uh, the three-year requirement if you don't have a mentor, um, you know, is I think a really great cliff for if, if you're going to make it into the industry through three years, um, you're going to work towards a designation, you know, chances are that you're, you're in this for the long haul and I think that clients really appreciate that. Becoming a CFP has to be a passion because it takes so much time and dedication to accomplish it. And it's not just classes and books and everything and passing the CFP test, which is essentially passing a board in our field, but it is truly somebody that is committed to always staying on top of what's coming out because regulations change. And so it's not what I learned in a book 20 years ago. It's, do I know what's going on now? Everything that pertains to financial planning, we are constantly researching, we're constantly developing. We're making sure that if, even if it's uh, you know, a, a course of action or a product that we don't recommend right now, we're constantly reviewing those to make sure, is this something that's going to get better in the future? Is this something that's going to work for maybe just uh, one very specific client? We're, we're always wanting to know what's out there in the, in the universe of planning uh, to help people reach their goals. From an ethics perspective, we really appreciate that the CFP board is one of the few vocal advocates for a more or less global fiduciary standard. That's something that we very much align with. That's something that we very much agree with. And the ethics component of, of the CFP designation is something that's very important to us. Everyone that works in the planning process at Aspen Wealth Management will always have a CFP credential or will be working toward their CFP credential.